My name is Kim. Welcome back to Golden Acres. Today I'll be doing a homestead tour and I'm doing this partially because it just rained and we've had a lot of snow melting recently and it is very very muddy but that also means we can see where water collects before we do our spring planting. All right so as you can see like this is where our driveway is and it's pretty muddy from the driveway all the way up to the buildings. We've got ruts from going into the shop, which we, or garage, we filled this in last year. And of course the kids have now played in it because it's a mud puddle. And we go back this way. There's less rock. We have to get the whole driveway re rock, which I will do a small walk down the lane and show you how bad some spots of our driveway are. And you might be able to hear it, but I'm walking through puddles while we do this. And it is just a muddy mess over here. This area is where the rock pre will disappears. And it is part of the easement that goes to the back. Because we have an easement with our neighbors. So this is a driveway or a dirt lane. And it's actually doing pretty good. Pop in the greenhouse, get a little bit out of the wind for a second, because it is windy today. And you can see where we do have some water coming in, which also means the water will drain when we water. So, Goods and bads. Let's see, it's coming in this way. If you look out here where Lizzie is, that concrete is sloped down. Coming out here, and then it's going out underneath that way. All right, next we'll go look down the driveway. Let's see if I can get some cover under here. Nah. Actually, I think that just made the wind worse. But we'll come over here and we'll walk down the driveway real quick, see how bad the lane is, because it's pretty squishy. We're actually going to run up to the rock place today and see when they can get out here and get us some rock. Originally, that they thought that the rain was over, but I don't think so. Look at those dark clouds. <laughs> I have pretty well filmed this all at once. It's just blown in all of a sudden. And calm down for a second. So hopefully we get that rock in today. I'm gonna to come over here and show you the garden area so we can kind of see where water is standing and how, what we can do about that. I'll also show you an update if you remember from a previous video. We had dug a ditch around the house to help with some drainage and I'll show you what that is looking like currently because I'm pretty sure it's pretty full. Here's that ditch, and it's pretty full. It is definitely working. It's hard to tell how much of this was this morning's rain and snow melt, because this was so covered in a big drip from the last snow last time. But it appears that the water is pooling from that ditch right over here next to this. 
so we might we'll probably end up bringing some dirt in level here maybe making it a little bit more than level and getting a hump so we here and we'll end up getting it to drain down to this pond where there's also a pond on the other side of the small front hill not the back one small front hill all righty and then over here is the garden so we've got a line here pretty full puddle but i think this is probably still going to be the lawnmower path so it's not going to be garden obviously underneath the swings like gets puddles because the kids wore it down even though this is the first year it's been here oh been a wind gust all right that wind gust has passed and i'm in a bit of a wind block but the rest of our garden comes down and drains this way so we don't have much standing water in this garden area And we do have other ditches that are cut in the pasture so they will help drain the yard too. This is all a work in progress. But I'm not mad about a small area that kind of collects water that kind of helps keep stuff from getting too dry up here. Nope. Well, looks like the clouds are blowing away a little bit. Maybe it's just cloudy today. You want to say hi? Don't lick me. Say hi. Don't lick me. You're a goofball. You're a good farm dog, huh? Good girl. She's my buddy. She actually loves men. So my husband's her favorite person, but I am a close second. I don't always win the dogs. Via, she's always been mine, and she's always kind of picked me, but she's a hunting breed. So her first love is sniffing and following a trail, except while I was pregnant. Then all she would do is sit on my feet, which was kind of frustrating when you're trying to walk. I took off. <laughs> it's gotten soft because the ground's thawed so of course they're looking for moles it's their favorite pastime my parents had a property that was uh, infested like infested with moles so my dad literally asked me to bring my dogs down and get all the moles out they did a good job they were very successful so down here is that other drainage, which helps drain down into this pond. We have scooped from it. It's a very steep ditch and Andrew doesn't like that because of running the tractor out here. So we have scooped dirt from here and then moved it other places. We have tons of cleanup. Locust, which are pretty gnarly. But yeah, so we're gonna get this leveled or sloped correctly so driving won't be an issue and there'll still be a ditch here that helps drain. And then what'll also help is the pond dam needs fix. There have been some muskrats digging into the both pond dams. The other ones are worse. And we'll have to get that fixed. So that'll help a little bit too with water capture. We're uphill from where we just were at. And you can see that it's still pretty full of water. So it's not draining too much. In some ways it's not draining enough because like we need to fill this in a little bit so we won't get puddles right at that concrete slab. This is also right under a tree so it's a little less grassy 
I need to get some, or just make some fish emulsion and spray it on the yard here up in front because that'll help fill the grass in this area. Oh gosh, it's a windy day. Stuff like this, just can't wait for you to get around the wind and the weather. I know it's supposed to freeze this weekend, which means you could see ice puddles, but that could be just from freezing and thawing, freezing and thawing. It's sometimes hard to tell where things are collecting at that point. Oh, barn is nice and warm. <laughs> so, over here, it is actually draining nicely. People, true horses, protected from the wind. It doesn't get as much rain because of the roof, but protected from the wind, and it's doing pretty good. Probably should water it. It looks a little dry. Yeah, it needs some water. So I'll do that after this. Hi, Fia. And then we don't have too much of an issue. So we scraped this pad and it was all pretty well composted. As you can see over there, cow manure, or cow manure, horse manure, cow manures in the other barn. And it's not overly wet on this concrete. There's one little puddle where it's not allowed to drain because we have a pile of composted manure. So we're pretty happy with that. All right, I'm gonna over here. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at this compost. It is man manure from horses. That's all it is, because we scraped it off this concrete. It's from the previous owners, which isn't normally suggested, but the previous owners bought hay from the neighbors who were um, Amish and they don't use a whole lot of chemicals. We know what they put on there because we asked them and they were honest with us. So we are totally comfortable with putting this on our garden this year. Don't do this randomly if you don't know always what hay has been treated with before the horses ate it and that doesn't always digest all the way through the horse's digestive system. So there could be remnants of a chemical that wouldn't be pleasant with your garden. So this is horse, so it is high in nitrogen, which will be good for lettuces, brassicas. I'm gonna plant some wheat this year. It is good for tomatoes in the very beginning, but then they need a different fertilizer later in the year to make sure that they get plenty of fruiting. But in the very beginning, they like nitrogen. It's not totally composted, but this underneath this bottom stuff is very beautiful. We will be mixing it into the dirt. It will not be a layer completely flat on top of the dirt with this mix just because it is one ingredient and it is an animal manure we're going to make sure to mix it in that way we can get our gardens prepped nicely and then put in fairly quickly because we still don't have our beds built it's not like we could be pre-putting stuff in and then letting it rain and snow melt on top of it so we'll mix ours in this year, till it in as much as possible, even in the raised beds. And then we will go from there for the next years with the raised beds, trying to put a layer of compost on right before we plant. Just noticed something fairly sketchy and totally not fixed correctly on our barn. And I'm gonna show it to you guys. And then I'm gonna ask Andrew how we should fix it. Even a cinder block would have been better from the compost and I was like oh that's a weird spot to have a t-post it's not even a t-post and I click down I'm like sinking in this horse manure and that's rotted off 
And so they attached a little bitty piece of wrought iron. There are tons of better ways to do that. Cutting it off clean and pounding it, bricks or something underneath would have been better than this because there's no way that little piece of metal is going to hold that up. Buying a property that needs some fixing up is always going to have something that surprised you. I'm sure we're going to be finding stuff like this for the next 15 years. We're like, we didn't do that. That's a weird fix. <sighs> my dad does that sometimes. Like, was it my father or my grandfather who did this? <laughs> it's funny. So, thanks for being on this quick small tour with me today if we haven't done a whole lot with it january there's not many changes but knowing where your water is draining and where you're gonna get puddles with snow melt and rain we had both it was a perfect opportunity to come out here even though it was windy today it's just what it takes so thanks for being with me if you like what we're doing hit that like button if you want to follow along subscribe and the best thing you do to help us is just share us on your social media. And the train totally ruined my exit. But thanks for being with us anyway. God bless.